The role investments play in our lives is growing these days, but managing a portfolio is no quick decision. Cue the rise of robo-advisors. What are those? Here with his insight and expertise is Jim Yee, financial educator, founder of retirehappy.ca. Jim, always nice to have you here. Thank you for having me back. Wow, what a name, hey? Robo-advisors. <laughs> for people watching and they don't Who know. Who thought of that? Yeah, hey? the name. But first of all, what are they? Yeah, so... You know, the name, when I first heard of robo-advisors, you, you sort of think, have this image of robots managing money. Uh, it's not that at all. all. You know, technology certainly plays a big role, but uh, the whole idea of robo-advisors is that um, there's still human interaction, there's still people making investment calls, but there's certainly a higher level of automation. But the big, I guess, uh, uh, perk of robo-advising is because of the leverage on technology and, and the investments they choose, the fees are getting immensely lower than what, say, a retail mutual fund or or a retail financial advisor might charge. So I think fees. that's the attraction right now is low low fees. It's the big attraction, yeah, low fees. Like you're you're looking at uh, as an example uh, a retail mutual fund. If you're at a bank or something, you might be paying two percent to two and a half percent in fees on an annual basis. The problem with fees is they're all embedded, so people don't really know what they're paying. They're kind of hidden away and. Um, and, and they're hopefully doing a better di job of disclosure. But these robo-advisors, uh, fees are transparent. They, they, they're, they're right there on the websites. You're paying 0.5%, 0.4%, 0.6%. So immensely lower, you know, 70 to 80% lower than what you would pay in a, in a traditional mutual fund. So how do they manage a client's portfolio, these robo-advisors? These robo-advisors. I just like saying the name yeah. a lot. <laughs> so they're gonna invest in something called ETFs. Um, the idea of a robo-advisor in its, in its traditional term is that um, the notion of picking stocks by managers or people, um, the belief but from robo-advisors is, is that they can't outperform the market on a consistent basis. And the science says that you know the, the returns come from the markets more so than the individual stocks. So what these robo-advisors will do is they'll build portfolios around something called ETFs, another funny term, exchange-traded yeah. funds. Uh, but basically you're buying the markets, you're not buying individual stocks. So the reliance on somebody to make stock picks isn't there, which can drive the, the, the uh, fees down dramatically. Who might this be good for? Yeah, so um, it's interesting because the stigma is that they're for millennials or, or young people who, you know, who, who like technology and leveraged on technology, but I really believe it is accessible for everyone. They've made it easy for everyone, so whether you're young or old, whether you're retired or not, whether you have lots of money or a little bit of money, they've really made it accessible for so many people. But if we look at who this is really designed for, um, it's not designed for the do-it-yourselfer. So there is a segment of, of investors out there that, you know, they like to trade and they like to do their own thing and they don't need an advisor and they're going to go open up a brokerage and, uh, account and just do it on their own. So that's not really the market. There's also going to be a segment of the market that likes financial advisors. They like their relationship. They like being able to call somebody, go down to an office, have a coffee, have a conversation. Where I think robo-advisors fit in is in sort of that middle segment. People who uh, are tired of paying high fees for retail brokers. I hear a lot of people who aren't happy with service, so they're willing to, to, to get less services for a reduced amount. Um, you know, sort of the, the Costco or the, the, that kind of approach, a more wholesale type approach. So, where you still have the human contact. And yeah, and it's a service on demand model where you can still call somebody, you can still talk to somebody, um, but really there's this leverage on technology to automate the money management side of the portfolio. What robo-advisor services are available though? Yeah, probably the biggest one in Canada I think is uh, Wealth Simple, um, but there are a number of others. Um, some of the names would be Nest Wealth, Modern Advisor, Wealth Bar, um, and it's all sort of online based. So if you Google robo-advisors or if you Google you know, well, simple or anything like that, you'll find a whole bunch of them. But even the banks are getting into the game. You yeah. know, uh, BMO has one. Um, Quest Trade has uh, IQ portfolios. So it is, it is 
uh, a lot more options uh, as we move forward. And uh, so I, I think that's good. I think options can be good. Yeah, and, and you educating people about it is very useful. Well, <laughs> that's good. Hopefully everybody does a little bit more research on it. Thank you for enlightening us about this. Thanks Appreciate for having it, me. Yeah. That is Jim Yee, financial educator and founder of retirehappy.ca.